Hey, it's Mike. I am not an investing guru. I'm an average guy sharing my investment journey on the internet. In today's video, we're talking about, about my new zero day to expiration wheel strategy. As you already know on this channel, we like to borrow money. So majority of my strategies, like, you know, put your money in high quality holdings through W2, income, all that stuff. And you have these really good foundational holdings. And then we borrow against that to, uh, to invest in like income paying funds. So, you know, these are the high quality holdings that you invest in. And again, you're using your W-2 income and like any money you make from working. And then what you do is you borrow against this set of shares uh, to invest in income holdings. However, what I want to do is I want to do this. Uh, another strategy is um, this is my new zero day to expiration cash secured push slash covered call wheel strategy. And what I'm doing is um, I'm going to be investing in the S&P 500. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selling out of the money cash secured puts or or whatnot for on, on a daily basis. So what I'm doing is, you know, I'm investing in the SPY and it's gonna be like a non-volatile holding and then we're gonna be selling those out of the money. And the, one of the goals here is to generate cash flow with the unused margin. So, you know, in my portfolio, I have about $300,000 worth of unused margin. And I just wanted to see if I can actually milk a little bit more pre, like income from that money just sitting around doing nothing. Um, and in doing so, like I'm putting it into an asset that is not as volatile as say like a Tesla. The Tesla, they could, in any given week can go up like 15 or 20 percent the s p 500 highly unlikely to do that so my plan is to do that with the s p 500 which they also allow me to do uh daily options um and so what the plan is you know the margin sets aside as collateral so when you know say i sell a cash secured put on s p 500 it's 570 dollars a share so like the option collateral would set aside fifty seven thousand dollars but you're not accruing interest on that. So like you're actually not borrowing the money, it's just to use this option collateral. And uh, what I would do, you know, sell some daily options. And then when assigned, I would sell the uh, the holdings or which would then be converted to a covered call at the money. So this would be my uh, income stream. And so the goals of doing this is, you know, create income with the unused margins. So I guess my number one priority with this. And the goal is to get about six to 8% in income. So with doing this, I wanna squeeze out a little extra income without adding too much risk. However, this is a more advanced strategy because you are using margin and you are using daily options where you have to monitor it pretty consistently all the time. Um, so, but the goal is to make about six to 8% in income. And then, you know, always on this channel, we're borrowing other people's money to make a side stream of income. So, you know, if this, is, this proves to be successful, then you can go ahead and scale that. And then um, another goal of this is also to turn into like a high yield interest account. Like, you know, if I could relatively make six to 8% a year in a pretty safe manner without my capital eroding and actually getting the six to 8%, that would be a really good option to have if you have extra cash sitting around that is being unused. And like, you know, you don't want to keep it in a, like a, a high yield interest account that will only net you like two or 3%. So this could be another option. So again, I'm the type of guy that, you know, I'm not going to play theoretical games. I'm actually going to test it out. If it works, it works. If not, then we go back to the drawing board. So, but you got to keep trying. So that's the new strategy. Um, and then this is my spreadsheet associated with that. So very similar to like my other spreadsheets that I have for um, like, for example, like the Tesla where, you know, I'm outsourcing the income or the option investing to a professional fund manager. This is where I'm going to be doing it myself. So uh, I have about a week's worth of data here. So I started on September 30th or yeah, September 30th, and I even did one this morning, so I sold a cash secured put. So we'll just use that as an example. So option type, we sold a cash secured put on the SP 500. Our option premium, we made $16. Um, I didn't buy it back or anything like that. Um, no capital gains. Capital gains will, will happen more so when you're selling the covered call because you're gonna be selling it at a cost basis, hopefully above what you paid for it with the cash secured put. And then, you know, there's fees associated with option investing. I think they're regulatory fees and comes out to about three cents per contract. And then um, the tax rate isn't really 50%, but I'm just setting aside 50% as like a mental marker just to set that money aside somewhere just so that when it comes to tax time, like I'm accounting for like, oh, I need to pull up this X amount of money to be safe. You know, once tax time happens, I pay all my taxes. If there's anything left over, then we can go ahead and deploy that money in, in areas that we seem fit. And then it's just the net gain. And then uh, you can see here, I have like the option collateral and the different strike prices and then the closes of these. So for the most part, I have not been assigned on any of these. Um, if I would be assigned, you would see like cash secured put and then the next day would be a covered call. 
And so with the amount of uh, income I'm generating, I've already made $136. Uh, total expenses is about $50, and that's accounting for taxes as well as the fees. Realistically, the you know we might we might not have to pay too much of a tax bill by the end of this year because we only have three more months, and this is not really generating too much income, but it's making enough. Um, and then you can see here that you know I uh, just took these numbers and annualized it, so it would come out to about $4,800. A year worth of income and that's just strictly cash secured puts at the delta that i have decided um you know divided by say fifty seven thousand dollars it comes out to about eight percent so if i can and get an annualized return of eight percent off of money and not necessarily get assigned that's like a really good strategy at least in, in my eyes where i can generate income with money that's just sitting around and then you know if i do get assigned you know for a cash secured put i'd be selling in the money um, so, for example, I'm just going to show you the uh, cash secured put I did for today. So today, you know, markets open, already down money, nothing new. <laughs> um, but this is the, uh, the SPY. I'm selling the 567 put. Um, the share price of SPY is 571, so it would have to drop four dollars for me to be assigned here. And um, just kind of going over here, so you can see the expiration date. It's going to expire today. My average credit. Oh, that's what it costs right now. Um, it should have said, I think my average credit was really like 16 bucks. Oh, 17. Oh, I got to change that. $17. Wow. Money bags over here. All right. $17. And then I'll adjust the other things too. But, um, you know, as the market wanes and, and it goes up, it goes down. So, you know, I'm selling a cash secured put. So, you know, this is going to be more expensive as it gets closer to the strike price. And, you know, if the stock, or that ETF keeps going up, then it's going to be going uh, much more in value. So, like, let's show, like, if you've never option invest, this is more for you. So, if you want to sell options and make some money, you have different options. So, what I did is I pressed this sell put. Today is the seventh. So, this is the share price we're at right now. So, like, if I want to make ninety four bucks today, I could sell it at this price. However, if the share price of Tesla uh, drops, you know, like I'll, I'll get this premium, but then like, I'm going to have to buy it at $571 versus like a better price down here. So the one that I chose is the 567. So it, it's almost three, $4 off of the, uh, actual share price right now. And my goal again is not to make generate mountains and mountains of premium. Like I'm already getting that with these other funds. Like I'm getting those mountains and mountains of premium from, you know, the Tesla, oops, Tesla, the AMZY, like I'm already generating that from that. This is again just supposed to be like a little bit safer strategy. So what I did, you know, I pressed this, continued, and then very much bought it. So you know, I'm setting aside, you know, fifty six thousand, fifty six thousand seven hundred dollars worth of option premium, and you know, I'm only making sixteen dollars. So like that's, you know, you're putting up a lot on the line here. But then you know, if I do get this assigned, if the share price does drop that much, I feel like that the delta that I have at I believe that I'm going to be getting at a better price. And then, so like the next day for like October 8th, what I would do is instead of selling a put, I would sell a call, I would sell it at the money. You know, if I sold it 567 and this is like what the covered call premium is, I'd make $151 off that plus whatever the difference between the 567. So that would be almost $500 worth of premium if I got assigned at 567, but then the share price is 572. So just different things to think about. Um, but yeah, like I'm going to be doing this zero day to expiration strategy we'll see how it goes you know if if you guys are doing it let me know if like you have any pointers or anything like that but i'm doing pretty conservative out of the money and i'm not trying to generate that 20 30 percent i just want a yearly return of about eight percent using this strategy like six eight percent i'd be more than happy but um yeah you know if you guys like to you know this is another way to generate income um and we'll see how it goes you know this is a new thing that i'm endeavoring so like i'm gonna obviously make mistakes um, so yes, if there's option investors who have more tips, just let me know of those tips. If not, hope you all have a good one. We enjoyed the video and peace.